What's up, YouTube? Real quick video. I've been asked a couple of times how did I mount these 2.2 Kyosho wheels with no hex onto a slash with a hex. I didn't want to do any modifications or no major modifications. So I measured out the center, found that it takes a 5 by 8 bearing. I went with a flange bearing, pulled it up for you. That's the one I used. All right, nice tight fit, nice and snug in there. Then I took, I didn't use this hex, it's too wide. I used a four millimeter hex, I think it was my Entergy, with a grub screw. That way the hex went on, grub screw stayed in place, hold the pen in place, stayed there. Then the back of the axle pen made a notch in it. So I can use a screwdriver or whatever to hold that still, because I tightened the wheel nut on. Just did the wheel nut on, screwdriver behind there, or whatever you want, flat surface in back there. Screw that on to stay place. The green Yanko Nova, that video, those wheels are on there. No problems, no wobbles. It worked. Now people use, I think, Jado fronts so or Jado suspension arms or whatever they use. Carriers, rather. But back then, about a year, a year and a half ago, when I came up with this combo, that's what I thought, uh, uh, that's what I thought of, so that's what I used. 2.2 Kyosho, they became real popular since I showed them. I think it was in a magazine also. My car, the magazine it was in. So more people started buying them. Next thing you know, they're hard to get. You get the black ones and the white ones, but these satin ones aren't too too easy to get. Uh, now J Concepts makes a similar wheel to it. They became very popular. I chose these. I didn't want the funny car wheels on here. To me, they look too small for a slash, but but I wanted something different. So this takes up the wheel well nicely. Um, a lot of people use prime tires. I'm not racing on no prep track. I just run around my parking lot. So these have been working out pretty good for me. That's about it. 2.2 Kyoshos, the slitter on there. It works. Peace.